Anyway, hey, listen. This to me is a very funny story. Gary went out to Fire Island this weekend, and the uh, so Gary had those new roller skates of his. Right, the ones with the one line. Yeah. All in one line skates. Yeah. So. Uh, so Gary got stopped by the cops out on Fire Island. On his skates? Yeah, and the cops haul him into the station house. <laughs> on the skates? On the skates. Oh, man. And this is the unbelievable to me. This is what being a, you know, oh, there's no. cool cops and there's dickhead cops. <laughs> you know what I mean? And this is a guy who went into, you know. What, did you have to skate into the station? Yeah, I had to climb the stairs on my skates. Oh, really? He wouldn't let you take them off? Well, um, they didn't, you, they, was your heart beating real fast when they pulled you in? No, because they didn't tell me why. Yeah, so was your heart beating real fast? No, I yeah, a little bit. I was just... I I'd be what, real nervous. I don't know what they wanted. You know, and... I don't, cops... I don't know. This is, what were you doing to be pulled in? Can you imagine being a cop on Fire Island? I guess there's not that much crime on Fire Island. Yeah. So... Mostly, you know, like they have to arrest people for eating a hot dog on right. the beach. People arrest them for barbecuing. <laughs> yeah. You know? And you're talking about people probably... Those are major outlaws. People bust their balls all week trying to make a living. They finally get out to Fire Island. One of the guys out there told me that they got a ticket. Um, they, you get tickets for everything. They got a ticket for singing Happy Birthday too loud. They were singing Happy Birthday, and the cops came, and they gave them a ticket for disturbing the peace. Really? Yes. Yeah. Go there and relax. <laughs> can't believe you're not allowed to barbecue on Fire Island. I and didn't know about the barbecue. I know there's a couple of beaches where you cannot... Now they change the regulations because they can catch you. Right. There used to be a complete ban on all food and drink on this one beach. Right. Now you can drink sodas in certain cans mm. and and not in others. <laughs> you know, so they can catch you anyway. So Gary goes out there and the cops drag him into a station house because he's roller skating. You're not allowed to roller skate in public on Fire Island. Gary didn't know. It was his first time out on Fire Island. Oh, you can't roller skate in public. You can do it in your house yeah so the cop who pulled him in just had one of those attitudes that i hate on cops because being a cop is i mean i guess the only time you get your rocks off is like pulling in people but like if you pull in some like street kid like he's gonna the street kid's gonna wrap you in the face he's real intimidating it's yeah. like pulling in mike tyson you know you just you know it's intimidating and uh I suppose you have to use that attitude on them. Right. But, you know, when he's got a hold of a Gary Delabate, the fun <laughs> begins. And they can yank a kid around. Yeah, so what happened? Tell so, her. So he uh, he gave me the uh, the rule book, and he, and he made me read. <laughs> read it out loud. Oh, no. Yeah, he made Gary read it out loud. Are this you is, you know, kidding? Gary is a grown man. I mean, what was he treating you like you were 15? Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? They can screw with everybody there because... It's yeah, but excuse me, a police officer, we pay their salaries. Don't humiliate. I would have refused to read it out loud. Yeah, no, but if you don't read I it would. out loud. I wouldn't have read it out loud. Then you're what? chewing on a night sticker. I don't care, man. I would not read it out loud. I'm not there to be humiliated. I'm paying these guys to keep the order. If I, if I broke the law, then fine. Tell me what law I broke and give me a ticket. Or whatever. I was gonna say a G damn ticket. Oh, you can't say that. So then, so I read. <laughs> no, I'm really, that really pisses me off. When, you see, that's a, that's a, I hate cops like that. That's the kind of cop I want to slug. I mean, seriously. I mean, you know, hey, man, what's your... D that's like, you know, you know, a lot of kids in high school who became cops were like, uh, sort of like these hard-drinking guys used to hang out with. You know, they were always they were always hanging out at firehouses and stuff. You know, there was a certain mentality that hung they out. They certainly weren't in the end click. Right. <laughs> but they were, they were, some of them, they, yeah, they were on the periphery of the end click. You know what I mean? A lot of them were football players and stuff. But, you know... If the only way you can get your rocks off is pulling it... Now, Gary, how old are you? 29? Yeah. He's 29 years old. It's not like he's some 19-year-old kid or 17-year-old kid and he's, he's been bad and his dad... He must have thought you were a lot younger than you were. I think... So. Well, I was dressed a lot younger. Yeah. I had a lot of neon on. Yeah, Gary goes out in that neon. Yeah, what were you, you wearing? I was wearing a pair of Red Champion shorts, <laughs> uh, the pink neon pullover Jimmy Z thing, yeah. and a green neon hat and a pair of Ray-Bans. Oh, that was the yeah. fashion police. And the, and the, uh, yeah. you know, and the skates had uh, green neon trim and shoelaces on them. Yeah, right. <laughs> a billboard on skates. Because <laughs> the cop really gave it to Gary about his outfit. Really? Yeah, well, well, anyway, so... Um, but the idea of... You stood in the station house while other cops watched? No, oh, yeah, because other cops oh. brought me in. Well, I was going to say, how many people saw this? Uh, there were two cops... This, is, this was obviously a big thing, because it was early in the weekend. Hmm. Two cops... The first cop saw me, 
outside and he said, stop. He said, could you follow me, please? Yeah. And I said, okay. And then another, and then they brought me and there was another cop in there. And it was like, Bill, you got to take care of him. He's president like, strip search you. <laughs> so they were all like, uh, and then the guy in church says, no, I'll take care of this one. Oh, the guy in charge. Right. The guy at the desk. Yeah. So he's at the desk and you're standing in front of it with the rule book. Right. Yeah. And, and mind you, the guy, the reason that even these guys have jobs is because, thank God, all the Manhattan people come to uh, Fire Island every weekend. Yeah. And I understand they, they have a, a list of rules and regulations, and uh, they probably are wise to do that because you'd have like a bunch of people who all share houses, like five and six at a clip, barbecuing, fouling up the beach and everything. Wouldn't even be quiet. There'd be lots of radios on and all that kind of junk. And you want peace and serenity out there. I understand the regulars want that, people who own property out there. Right. I understand all that. I just don't like cops who make you read. I mean, they're not there to humiliate you. Suppose Gary couldn't read. <laughs> yeah. Maybe Gary was a retard, Robin. <laughs> Suppose Gary couldn't read. I would have liked, I wish I had a tape for that <laughs> oh i will not ride a skate or ride on skates in the street oh you know how you used to sound out those words yeah. the guy would not ride on skates <laughs> sk sk <laughs> what's this word yeah i'm oh, sorry i can't get this one yeah so how much did you have to read out loud um it was just like a paragraph it's roller skates skateboards right. uh unicycles yeah, i don't yeah. know it was, it was an actual whole, law covered a whole it was because i remember he said to the other cop uh, dick he goes which one is that uh, is it a uh, 56 one or 61 two and the guy you know they're all listed it was 56 yeah. dick. Memorize. one is it the 56 one or 50 uh, 66 and and you're humiliating a 29 year old man who earns a living who you know he's out there and to enjoy his weekend salary, yeah. and you know he doesn't want to put up with the crap all week i've been giving him crap what does he need to have crap from some other authority figure? Yeah. yeah at least your crap is on the radio. This guy could have walked up to you. First of all, it is not a cop's... Um, I don't believe this is proper for a cop to come up to you and say, follow me. I mean, you're talking about a roller skating offense. <laughs> you, say to, you say to an adult, hey, listen, you're roller skating in the street. You're not allowed to here. Gary could have said, hey, I didn't, I wasn't aware, this is my first time out. And the guy could have said, listen, whether it's your first time out or not, you have to have a ticket, or you're not going to have a ticket. You don't have to humiliate a guy. So they bring him into the station house. They have Gary reading out loud. <laughs> that is an outrage to me, man. That That is an outrage. Uh, did he get a ticket? Wait a second. So, so oh. tell him the rest of the story. So then uh, the guy says, after I read this thing, he says, now, if you were me, what do you think we could do to rectify this situation. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. You know. like, what, so I said, I'll skate home and take my <laughs> skates off and put them away and never never use them again. He goes, hmm, but wouldn't you be in violation if you did that? <laughs> right? Like, this is the cop talking. Hmm. So I said, Let's think this problem but, through. Yeah, another rocket, two rocket scientists <laughs> thinking through this legal matter. Let's like F. Lee, you know, Jughead for the defense is the cop. You know, he's sitting there. So then he, oh, so then he said, so then I said, okay, then what I'll do is I'll go outside and I'll take these skates off and take my socks off and I'll walk home. I'm not even sure if there's an ordinance against being barefoot. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm not even right. sure at this point. Yeah, right. So he goes, hmm, now you're thinking. Oh, man. Mm, now you're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is a twenty. You know, how old was the cop? Do you think? I bet you're older than the cop. No, no, he was about. Uh, he was about forty. Yeah, forty. 40. He was about forty. Isn't it time for him to retire if he started at twenty? Or is it just that Fire Island lifestyle is so is so complimentary to his? <laughs> oh, man. He's probably a gym teacher during the yeah, winter. Yeah, right. His summer job. Hmm. <laughs> Let me think here now. Hmm. Okay, yeah, you could you could roller skate home, but you'd be in violation of the law. I'd have to issue another ticket. Wouldn't we? Be? So, so then what happened? So then uh, he said, you know, that's that's the answer. And then he said, where are you from? And I said, Manhattan. He goes, oh, what a surprise! Somebody from Manhattan on Fire Island. Oh, yeah, yeah, can you imagine? Oh, they don't want you there. Yeah, right. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, I can go back again. Yeah, and you should have said, and ooh, look at you, a Fire Island police officer compared to our Manhattan, our Manhattan police officer, Arnold Schwarzenegger. You look like Angela Lansbury. <laughs> ooh, a Fire Island police mm. officer. So, ooh, that must be really rough. Hey, get, you got that guy's name? I like to bring him down here. I'll give him a little of his own treatment. I'll have him out. He'll be so emasculated, he'll, he'll lose his private parts. I'd like to emasculate a few of these idiots. Ooh, from Manhattan. Look at that, another person. Hey, where's he from? What, is Wait, he from another country? Actually, he's from Queens. He's from Queens. Oh. 
But the whole joke was that is that us Manhattanites get on the boat and you should have said, "Hey, their island. Mm, then why don't you be a police officer in Queens and get shot at every three minutes? <laughs> Walk out on the street, you dick." I hate you know I hate guys who carry their authority a little too far. Pulling them well, in. What that whole thing about you know not wanting Manhattanites out there. Yeah, well, that's all you're going to have out there, and that's the only way you're going to hire more police. Who, who's buying the home? Yeah. People from Mars? Yeah, no. We're going we're, we're gonna to live out there and make a living clamming. Yeah, year-round. Yeah, year-round. <laughs> what a dickhead. Yeah, and then, and then tell her what, so, what else So is. the capper to the story is then, uh, <laughs> so uh, I said, I guess the reason you, you're not going to, he said he wasn't going to give me a ticket. You uh -huh. know? And I said, I guess the reason you're not giving me a ticket was you, nobody would be stupid enough to skate right in front of the police station if they didn't know it was illegal. Uh -huh. And he goes, no, a lot of people would be that stupid. He goes, but nobody would be stupid enough to skate in front of the police station with an outfit that says, hey, look at me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's nice. Oh, that's man. good. That's, that's a cop's job to humiliate <laughs> grown men who are law-abiding people. What a dick. Uh. <laughs> it was the subway all over. I don't know. Man. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's worse. Bringing you to the station house and making you read the law out loud. I don't know. Hand, being handcuffed to other subway riders. <laughs> yeah, that's got to be pretty bad, too. No, there weren't other subway riders. There were other offenders. Yeah, fair beaters. Yeah. Fair beaters. <laughs> I don't know. It's tough. I mean, I don't know where it comes from, but I, apparently everybody in the world just needs somebody to dump on. Yeah, right. And they all choose Gary. <laughs> and most of the times it's Gary. Yeah. yeah or someone like Gary. <laughs> <laughs> Gary's just screaming out to be dumped on. <laughs> it's too weird, man. I, I just, I, there's a lot of cops like that, man, and I can't stand the yeah. attitude. Because all he had to do was come by and say, hey, man, if he wasn't going to give him a ticket, listen, it's against the law to be roller skating here. If I see you again, I'm giving you a $50 ticket. Or here's your $50 ticket. Do you, they teach them at that attitude at the academy? I don't know. I think it's like it's like hall patrols. I was I, when I was in second grade. I was a hall patrol. I was captain of the hall patrols. Oh no! And uh, I would walk around and try to give people uh, grief, but I had no real authority. You know? Did you have one of those uh, the belts? white belts? Yeah, <laughs> white belt with a badge. I had a, a green badge, which was captain of the hall patrols. I, I led the whole damn thing. <laughs> so you know who the, who are like always the most difficult people to deal with. Um, security people, not policemen. Yeah, right. But if you go someplace that's a security guard, you got to clear your throat in the morning, man. I know. Uh, well, it is. Why don't you go drink some hot water? Okay. Because it's hard to handle, right? Yeah. Sounds like a guy who just got to clear his throat. Sorry. It's okay. I'll... I just can't handle it. <laughs> All right. Good talking to you, Gary. All right. Thanks for having me. You know what you so he did get a ticket. Is that what you? No, he didn't. Oh, he didn't. Cop let him go, which was nice, but the cop should just let him go on the street. Yeah, but maybe he felt like if I humiliate him and he takes it well, then I won't. Yeah, yeah, right. Maybe it was a test. Yeah, if he acts like a total worm, maybe I'll give him a break. <laughs> oh, they would. I, any, if I would have been a wise ass at any minute, yeah, that would have been it. But it's annoying. You're 29 years old. It's not like he's some little kid who needs to be admonished by his parents. Yeah. You know, it's it's just totally retarded. And you go out there to relax, to enjoy yourself. Right. It's and you're just standing there reading rules yeah. in front of a desk. I mean, just because some cop needs his ass kissed, <sighs> because he's got some some bad feelings about himself. Well, he went home feeling very very full of himself that yeah. night. Oh uh, yeah. Oh yeah. You should have seen what I did to this one guy. <laughs> I had this guy reading out loud in the station house. Oh, that's good. That's your job to humiliate people. Oh, goodness. Well, he was barbecuing at his little shack on Fire Island. Yeah. Well, we have a crack epidemic in the city. You know what? We don't need any police out on Fire Island That's busting right. roller skates. All the police should be transferred he, into Manhattan. Yeah, just for a couple of days and watch them making their pants. <laughs> Do you know how bad it is out there? People barbecue in their um, in the fireplaces. There's like a fireplace in the house. Yeah. People have to stick a grill in the fireplace. To <laughs> really? <barbecue. laughs> it's nice. Do you do that? Yeah. <laughs> That's safe. It was okay. It's like the olden days. Yeah. You go out the fire. Island. The hearth. <laughs> <laughs> Cooking over the hearth. You feel like a pilgrim. <laughs> fire Island. I can't get into that only because you deal with traffic all week and that whole rush hour thing. I can't imagine me. I have a lot of friends who live on Long Island and go out to Fire Island every weekend, and they deal with that rush hour. I mean, the the constant cars and the driving and getting from one place to another, and that whole disorientation of having to get to another place. Yeah, every weekend. Yeah, I I just couldn't deal with that. Yeah, but once you get there, it's great because there's no cars on the island at all, so you don't have to deal with. Traffic. But the, but oh. you have to deal with the traffic of getting on the ferry. There's millions. Yeah, of but people. the idea of getting to the ferry and leaving my car and. 
I, I don't know. I oh, it's a headache. Like it. Right, you can't park near the ferry because they charge a lot, so you have to park at the train station. That just seems like a take big a pain. Cab yes. To the ferry. That seems like a lot of work. Yeah, it's like uh, it's, it's reversing commuting. the whole travel situation. We've been trying to simplify it. Yeah. And then they complicate it again. And, yeah. And then also imagine in this traffic. Now you're a normal person. You'd pack a bag and you'd go, right? Right. You should see. I mean, people are just like lugging. You know, suitcases, you know, luggage racks. Yeah, right. It's People, annoying. They've got TVs, VCRs, you know, everyone's... Kids. Uh, dogs. Oh. You should see what they pack. You know what a lot of people do? I just learned about this. I was talking to this woman who's like one of those animal rights people. Uh-huh. She told me a lot of people uh, for the summer, like at uh, Fire Island and all that, they get dogs for the kids for the summer, and then they just abandon them at the end of the summer because they want the kids to have something to play with during the summer. So they just leave these dogs. And cats around. and stuff, yeah. I made a film about that in college. Did you? Yeah. That's pretty sad. That's pretty weird. People are incredible. <laughs> That's really heartless. What kind of heart do you have to like, like get sort of attached to this little dog for the summer and then just throw it out in the street when you're done? You know, I thought about it yesterday because I saw some guy who took his dog out to go swimming. Yeah. And then he was like talking to the dog by the car. The dog was all wet. Yeah. And it's very obvious he didn't want to put the dog back in his car. Well, just leave it. Get a new dog. <laughs> yeah. Was he going to leave it there? That's pretty weird, though. I mean, you got to. You know, don't you get a little emo I know I get emotional over animals sometimes. You know, you see like a little I'm dog. I'm attached or to my cat. Yeah, you get you get kind of emotional. Although Vietnamese people, they uh, they barbecue them. Well, they're always a part of them. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I love you so much. I'm going to eat you. <laughs> Actually, on Fire Island, the Vietnamese people couldn't eat their dogs because you can't barbecue out there. <laughs> so true. that's the only place dogs are safe. Well, well, ironically well that's another weird thing that goes on out there if the dog if your dog gets loose which yeah. some people do loose they dog tie, fine they tie him up in front of the police station you got to come and claim him so when when you walk by the police station there's always like 20 dogs yakking away oh yeah and then they charge you money for uh i don't know i never must fine you loose dog fine it's got to be worse than roller skates no roller skating can't believe that i never that. heard of such a thing what can you do out there walk around naked yeah can you walk around naked? There yeah, is, on some beaches. On yeah. some beaches. Yeah. Who wants to do that? But this is like one town, right? You walk over, the next town is a mile away. That's a whole different set of rules. Yeah. Like, you can barbecue and roller skate, but you can't do a bunch of other things. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm talking about. You know, on one beach, you're walking along eating an ice cream cone. All of a sudden, you step across this board. Right. You're in another <laughs> town police. where ice cream cones are banned. You hear, like, sirens going yeah. off. <laughs> Man, that's great. <sighs> I just find I just find the cop's attitude amazing. Just give me a ticket or don't give me a ticket. Don't give me a lecture. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a grown man. Reverse, you know. But since people are out there, they have a good time, and he's obviously not causing any problem. Why not just say, hey, roller skating's forbidden on this beach. Yeah, Sorry, that's all. Dude. That's it. You're on the air. It's like he's a cardinal criminal. I mean, if the guy was a chronic abuser and he kept saying, okay, I'm going to keep roller skating yeah, and spit in their face. Yeah. <laughs> You're on the air. Hello? Okay, thanks for the call. Howard. Yeah. Why don't you call the police station? What? Why don't you call the police station? And do what? Yell at the cops. First of all, cops don't go on the air with you. They won't? No. I didn't know. Okay, now you know the law. Thank now read you. the law out loud. Cops won't go on the air with you. Now, cops are uh, pretty much hesitant to uh, get any public exposure. Well, they have to have an official spokesperson deal with the media plus allow when you allow regular guys to do it when we call a cop station you hear that little beep going off they record all the conversations no cop wants to be recorded getting yelled at by some dj uh-huh you dig i hear you all right dude thank you hey you're from the dark continent right how's that i said you're from the dark continent what do you mean okay thank you Bob. all right he doesn't know what he means he doesn't know he lives in the dark continent